Hello everybody, Track Master Productions 2016 back in and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your custom wire couplers. So what you will need is a spool of wire like this, some pliers, and an engine. And you can do this with your Track Master 2 engines or your Track Master 1 engines as well. But I'm going to show you on a Trackmaster 2 since that's a current, current system. And we're going to do Mike, okay? Since he is not modified with hook and chain couplers. He has the stock standard couplers. Now remember, when I say hook and chain couplers, I mean these. These guys right here. And when I say stock couplers, I mean these here. These here stock couplers because that's what's in stock that's what comes with so we're gonna do mic okay now this may be a tricky part if you do not use a triangle screwdriver I would suggest for this method here you use the tools that are required in this video sometimes they are kind of tricky to get loose okay now how you want to get into here is the three screws here. Yeah, there's one, two, and three. You want to be very, very careful not to lose these screws because if you lose them, well, you're done for. Now, I may, I may have some lying around here on the railway, but if you're doing this at home, um, please try not to lose these screws. And remember how, how to put these in. These is go in. These are one-way screws. They don't go in another way. Like you can't mix and match the screws. So what I usually do, we get them all loose. Okay. Sometimes they may not be loose. Sometimes they are loose, and I do that very quickly. So then, when the screws fall out, they're exactly where they're supposed to be. So I know which screws are where. You can see on the track. You see, there's the front screw. There's the two back screws. Okay, so we're into the engine here. Move this stuff out of the way. And you see the stock coupler here. Okay, I'm gonna take that out and throw it away. Now, on to the method of the wire. What I usually do is I cut me off a lot because you may be making mistakes. So you should get a wire about that length there. Cut it throw the excess wire to the side. Then what I do is I try to measure. I try to get it long, remember, cut off a lot, but you can trim it up in the end. Then here's the tricky bit. Now be very, very careful because these wires can poke you. But you take this here, you wrap it around your finger like that, okay? You wrap it around your finger, okay? Pull that around like that. What you do, is I take my thumb, be very, very careful, and push that in. Okay, push that in, push that in like that. Then you have that there. And what I do is I take my pliers, I take the end here like that, I just twist. Okay, see it tightening? I just tighten that up, like that. Okay, then what I do is I cut off the excess with these plier method here. Just cut off the excess or if I can and I can wrap it around and do that there. Do another loop. Then I take my pliers, flatten it out, push it in, pull it out and all that there. So there you go. That's how you make a wire. Now what you may want to do is if, if you want it tightened, what I do is I just do this. Take this, push it in a little bit, just a little teeny bit. You don't want to do it too much or you'll damage the loop. Okay, now that we got well, our wires done, Okay, now that we've got what our wires done, we're going to install them. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to try to figure out what is going to go where. So you, what, what you do is you take your wire, like the couplings, just pop it in like that. Okay, pop it in, just pop it on the loop. Maybe a little loose. You may want to do some, you know, squeezing. Now you want to be very, very careful doing this. Because what I, do, what I do is I go to the end and I just very lightly push very lightly just very very lightly because you don't want to damage it and you don't want to screw it up mess it up see now it's in there pretty good 
Then what you want to do is you want to put everything back together the way it was. Okay, so you cut everything. We're going to do this stamp. Let's bring this process up. Okay. There you go. See, it's already in. And then what you want to do is before you screw anything else up, before you put, in, put anything permanent on, you want to do that. You want to check and see. Make sure it's okay. Okay. Then what I do, we're going to speed this process up here. Put screws back in. Okay, so what that there? Got the mic together. Now you can do this with any other engine, Trackmaster 1 or 2, Trackmaster uh, Classic or Revolution. Screw this back in, screw this together. Then here comes the hard part. You have to be very, very careful on doing this here. What I usually do, oh, sorry. What I usually do is I take this here. You see there's a lot of excess. You want to just carefully cut, and you don't want to cut too much, you don't want to cut too little. I try to measure it out. Okay, cut off the excess. Yeah, cut a little bit off more. Okay, we cut off the excess. Which is correct. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to do this. You want to turn it up, bend it up, like that. Put the pliers that way. You have your hook and chain coupling. See? Now we're going to move on to the truck. Okay, now that we are into the tender, the tender part, we can take another coupling hook. Now you may want to make three if you're doing a tender engine for the back. Now I've already done a coupling for the back, so that there's done. It's the same as this here. It's the same as this one. Okay, now this one here is a little bit trickier, but you can try to fish it in between the coupling hole. Okay, see a little gap in the coupling hook area here. See that? What you want to do is you want to take your coupling, these wheels are messing me up, you want to take your coupling hook, okay, then what you, then what you want to do is you want to take the coupling, this here, put this on, I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Here. Sometimes you have to try to make adjustments to some stuff um, and all that. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, what I've had to do is I've had to bend the wire down. I had to bend this wire down a little bit so it can accommodate the tender. I don't want to focus. Okay. Hopefully, this will work. Sometimes they like to fall out or slide all over the place. I'm going to put it in there. Okay. There we go, guys. Try to get this correct. There we go. There. There we go. Okay. We are back in business. Okay, so then what, what you want to do is you want to do what you regularly, what I, what I do with the other one. Want to put the? You may want to hold this really tight in. You may want to hold this tight. Okay. You may want to hold this in here tight. Okay. There we go. Okay. Got the tinder back on. It's not perfect though. I'll have to modify it again. But you want to do the same as I as I did to this here. And then what you want to do is you want to trim it. Remember, trim it to there. Trim it a little bit more. Then you just curl this piece up. Sometimes the thing will get stuck. You just want to curl that up. And then you're done. So there you go. That's how you make your own custom couplers. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to take a little chain. See this little chain here? What you want to do is you want to take it and hook it into the hook. Like that. 
have to fidget it around a little bit and there you go see it's all good and so. you're done so you have the engine done it's all done all perfect and there you go thanks for watching leave a like leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and tell me what else you guys want to see um, on the on the next modification station see you guys later